Today is my fourth day. Okay, so this is paper 2 times 2 question 7. Right? Okay, the last question for that paper. Okay, so let's read first. Okay, they say a biologist introduces 100 rabbits to an island and records the size of their population, X, so rabbit is X, over a period of time. Uh, the population growth of the rabbits can be approximately modeled by the following differential equation where T is time measured in years. Okay, so they just give you the year T. Uh, so we are supposed to find the population of rabbits uh, one year after they were introduced. Okay. Alright. So this is a differential equation. Okay. So we can like that eh? we need to bring this to the other side and the other way. So it's just that we uh, one over x uh, d the uh, x equals to two d. Okay. Once you get in this form, you can integrate both sides. Okay, so that will give you your log x. Okay, modulus is one, better. Uh, it's going to be b plus c. Okay, uh, then, uh, so, macam gini, your x is a, b, uh, b. Where a is actually, uh, e to the power of c lah. Okay, but you just write it as b. Okay, so you substitute. Uh, initially, they masukkan 100 So that means, at time t equals to 0 Your x is 100 Okay, so masukkan 100 Design t equals to 0 So they be e to the power of 0 Which is 1, so a So that's your a So your final equation uh, Is actually uh, x equals to 100 e to b Okay, but the thing is They want 1 year So you have to masukkan 1 plus b Okay, so that part I remember, right? Uh, we will get the answer as 739. Okay, so uh, at time t equals to 1. Okay, now we'll be a soft Alright, okay, uh, next one. Oh, that one, that one, that one. So, kalau korang dah biasa dengan punya cara cara dia, okay, you can do it easy. Okay, uh, try to combine it easy lah, so it's easier when you daripada you just give it a slow on nanti nak masukkan leci ok so you use it this way ok alright the next one a population of 100 foxes is introduced to the island when the population of rabbits has reached 1000 ok the subsequent population growth of rabbits and foxes where y is the population of foxes at the time t so now y is fox x is rabbits ok can be approximately modelled by a coupled equation so now this thing that I will like e it's going to be the coupled one. So let's do this. That's for me. Okay. Uh, we start with the rabbit first. So the x will be the as x bracket 2 minus 0 by 0 y and then the other one is dy dt is given by y bracket 0.0 Okay, so first question is uh, use the Euler method with a step size of 0 0.25 to find uh, rabbits after one year and fox after one year. Okay, so uh, just make sure your t is the time, eh? you set it as tn plus your step size. Okay, your x, okay, uh, xn plus 1. Is it tn plus one? Okay. Your x n plus one is x n plus the step size, okay, and then the x dt and uh, x plus n, which is so. So it's uh, two okay. so it's, uh, xn, okay. xn, so xn, bracket two minus 0 0.01 y n. Okay, for the y n plus 1 part is y n plus x size, okay, bracket, uh, 0 point copy lah, uh, no, sorry, sorry, y n root, y n bracket 0 0.0002 uh, x n minus 0 0.2. Okay, 
So use your DDC, do the sequencing, and then after that, uh, you will get, uh, I think, 2840. Okay, X is 2840. Uh, lepas tu, your Y is uh, 58. Okay, so they accept uh, some DDA lah. Means you can run 236, 287. Okay, uh, this one they accept 59. So. Okay, because it's an estimate, eh? okay, so uh, they give some leeway. Okay, alright, so that one is just making sure you know how to use your unit method, okay, pack it easy and all that. Okay, the next one, part C, uh, the graph of the population sizes, okay, according to this model, for the first four years after foxes were introduced, it should be low. Okay, so the legacy of the graph, okay, uh, describe the changes in the population of rabbits and foxes for these four years. Uh, at point A and at point B. Okay, so D is understanding what the graph means. Okay, so basically, the background is here. A, turun. Okay, A is here. It's a bit sharper here. Okay, so A is here. Uh, BC. Okay, so you need to understand the graph. Right? The y axis is the fox. This is the fox. Okay, this is the red. Okay, so as you go to the right, means rabbit like a white. As you go up, means fox like a white. Itu maksudnya. Okay, then what does the uh, graph means? There's this arrow, right? Okay, maybe I can draw the arrow here. Right? Okay. The arrow is the progress of time. That means as time goes by, this is the population, 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 population to come, you know. Okay? So the arrow is the time. Okay. So now if you are here, you should follow the arrow. So the arrow goes here. So the next one is go here. So when you go here, you are moving to the right and you are moving up. That's how it's in the end. Okay, ke kanan dan naik atas. So your population of rabbits, okay, uh, is increasing, your population of fox is also increasing. Okay, so that's how you can write it. Alright, okay, bila dekat B pula, your arrow is now turning that, so that means your arrow is now going this way. Okay, so you see carefully, your rabbit ke kiri, your fox naik atas. So that means the rabbit is decreasing, the foxes is increasing. Okay, so how you interpret the graph is that the y in a portion is the fox, the x in a portion is the rabbit, the arrow is the time. Okay, so you follow the arrow to see what's next. Okay, so for here, our next is to the right and up, so therefore both population is increasing or rabbit is increasing, foxes is increasing. You can split it into two sentences. Okay, uh, for B, Rabbit pergi kiri pula, so that means rabbit is decreasing and the foxes is increasing. Okay, so that's for part C. Alright, now the last one. For, uh, find a non-zero equilibrium point for the population of rabbits and foxes. So this one, I will show you faster. Basically, equilibrium point means dx dt equals to zero and dy dt equals to zero. That means these two, can get to zero. Okay, so of course the obvious one is x is zero, y is zero lah. But they want the non-zero, uh, non-zero equilibrium points. So that means we cannot choose zero zero. Okay, so we need to look at the one in the bracket. We equate this to be equal to zero. We equate this to be equal to zero. Okay, and that will give us the x is four thousand. Okay, and y is two hundred. Okay, so if you take this to be 0 then, can it be 0 by 0, 1, y is equal to 2 then. Okay, so if you divide, you get y is 200. Okay, like y is the sign, you will get 0 by 0, 0, 0, 2x is equal to 0 by 8. Then you uh, divide by 0 by 0, 0, 0, 2, you will get x is 4000. Alright, so that's for the last question. Okay, so this one is okay. The next one today I'm going to skip where they ask you to draw. This one is a bit straightforward. Okay, so inshallah lah. Okay, you can do this. Alright, so I'll record the next one in the next video. Okay, let's go.